everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting Solar Auxilia for the Legions Imperialis. Yes, here they all are. We have our Laz Rifle Tertios, we have our Flamer sections, we have our Velatarii, we have our Ethon Sentinels, we have our Charonite Ogrins, we have our Malkador tanks, our Lehman Russ, and because it's cool and new and also part of the Solar Auxilia range, we have Bane Blades as well. We also have our HQs here and here. Ooh, focusing is an issue. Um, but we have them all arrayed before you. Now, I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to tell you that we're going to be painting them as Saturnine Rams, which, as far as I can tell, is the kind of old traditional silver and blue box art. As far as I can tell. I'm not 100% on that though. So if I've got it wrong, do let me know. I'm sure you will. <laughs> but we're going to be painting them up in those kind of more traditional colours because there's not a lot of reference material on the internet for Solar Auxilia. So I'm just going with what I think is right. So there we have it. And of course, this has all been sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you. So a massive thank you for them. This is all the stuff that comes in the Legions Imperialis box, including two Bane Blades, which doesn't come in that box. But I had to include them because they look absolutely fantastic. So we're going to be painting everything up here. We're going to be doing all of the infantry, the Sentinels and the Ogrins first, and then we will work on all of the tanks. And what we'll probably do is like one Vanquisher, one Battle Cannon, one Malkador, and one Bane Blade. And that. I was doing all of the others simultaneously. So uh, we're going to grab some paints, grab some brushes, and then we're going to get started. So the place we're going to start is on the Ethon Sentinels. And uh, the colour we're going to be using is Space Wolves Grey. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of that sort of greyish blue armour that they have. So this is the cockpit here, like so. got these little connectors on either side and we've got the main armor all in here like that this top part of the leg as well as the knee we've got the for the lack of a better word ankle foot and finally the rocket pod With all that Space Wolves grey applied to the Ethon Sentinels, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Asaman Blue. And this isn't the last time we're going to be using this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to move on to our Charonite Ogrins here. And we're going to apply this over top of 
their trousers and their shirts. As I say, this color is going to reappear again on all the infantry, but for the moment, I'm not going to apply it, which might seem a little bit weird, but you'll understand why in just a minute. So with these two colors applied to our Sentinels and to our Ogrins, we're now going to move on to our next color. And this is where we're also going to now bring in everybody else. So the color we're going to be using next is some thinned down lead belcher. I'm going to be applying this over lots of different details. So uh, firstly, what we're going to do is on the Sentinels, we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the kind of frameworks. like this, all the mechanical details as it were. Like that. And we're also gonna apply this over the top of the gun. Now we will come back to the Sentinel, having done some more of the silver. That's obviously not it, but what we're also going to do is we're going to, on our Ogrens, is we're gonna apply this over pretty much the rest of him. There is another color that is yet to go on here. So don't you worry about that, but we're going over the top of all of the armor and the weapons. things like that. Like that sort of thing. And then this is where we start to bring in our other guys. So for our infantry, we're going to apply this over top of their entire bodies, pretty much. The only thing we're going to avoid is any cabling. And that's on the flamer section. And we're also going to avoid their boots. like that sort of thing. One thing to point out here is on our Velitarii, we are going to apply this over the top of their axes. In terms of the axe head and the cutting blade along the side. And similarly, any sergeants in any sections, like for example the flamer section, we're also going to apply this lead belcher over the top of the sword, like that. And the same thing goes for our commanders. Like 
like that. But then we have his armor. So with all of that lead belcher applied, we're then gonna once again take Asaman Blue. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this over the top of all of the shoulder pads across all of our infantry. And the trick here is to just be very careful about how much paint you put on your brush. You really don't need a lot. Like so. However, what we're also going to do with the Asselin Blue is on our command echelon. We're going to apply this over the top of their cloaks. this. You don't want to forget the back. Okay, perfect. But what we're also going to do here with the Asaman blue is we're going to apply this over the main body of the banner as well. Just like this. And then on the front, what we want to do is we want to leave basically a stripe going down the middle. We're just going to start here and draw a line. And then block in the left hand and the right hand sides. So with that all done, we're then going to take some Eandon Yellow. I'm going to apply this over the top of the Commander's Scarf. His Helmet Plume. There's a bit more of Scarf on the back here.
like that. And I'm going to apply this over the top of the stripe. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this to the leather details of all of our infantry. Such as the boots and any belts on the commanders. What we're also going to do here is we're going to apply this over the top of the kind of frame of any weapons. So for example, there, like that, on our little veteran gunners, like so. Similarly on our Las Rifle Tertios, we've got that bit there, like that. Like so, on our flamers. We've got this little bit hiding. In there. And on our Velatarii, we have the haft of the weapon. With that Black Legion all applied, we're then going to take some Blood Angels Red and apply this over the top of the power cables. On our Flamer section. With the red all applied, we're then going to take some skeleton horde. I'm going to apply this over the top of the scarf, the stripe, and the ropes. On the banner. And the crest. Got a little bit of overspill just here, which we don't want, so I'm just gonna get in there and mop it up a bit. So, with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Balthazar gold. I'm going to use this to paint in all of the remaining details across all of our models. So we've got all these little details in the gun and the sword. Like so. Like that. A little handle just there and there. Got the standard top up here. Like 
and that sort of thing. I'll just finish it off. Like that. We will come back to that one, but we will also be painting in areas such as the barrels of the, and the magazines on our infantry, as well as that kind of banner top up there. Here, here, there, and there, like that. <laughs> Very quick for them. And for our flamer section, we've got the barrels of the flamers, we've got the guard of the sword, sort of thing. On our Ogrins, we're going to pick out areas like these pipes, just here, as well as any studs in the clothing, and these tanks on the back. Like that. And on our Sentinel, we're going to apply this now over the top of all the trim and bits we haven't already painted, excluding those missiles. I've forgotten to do those. We'll come back for the missiles in just a moment. With all that Balthazar gold applied, as promised, we're going to return to the missiles. I'm going to use Blood Angels Red for these. So with that Blood Angels Red applied to the Sentinel, we've got our Ogrins, our Flamer section, our Velotarii, our Laz Rifle Tertio, and our Command Unit. And they are now got all their base coats. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our shade and as a consequence finish all of them off. And the shade is going to be some Drakenhof Nightshade. And we're just going to apply this over the top of everything, excluding the yellow. So you will just have to be a little bit careful around this guy and the banner. But otherwise, you just want to get this over the top of everything else. Then it'll be time to move on to the tanks. Thank you. 
So with all of our infantry now done, we're moving on to the tanks. So we have our Bane Blade, we have our Lehman Russ with Executioner, no, Vanquisher. <laughs> we have our Malkador Battle Tank with Vanquisher. And we have our Lehman Russ with a bog standard battle cannon. We're going to be painting up all of these now. And well, we're mostly just going to focus on the Bane Blade, but we will pick out anything that is individual as it comes up because, well, you know, they're pretty much all the same. So, colour we're going to be using is Space Wolves Grey, just like we did on our Ethan Sentinels. And we're going to start applying this over the top of, well, pretty much the entire Bane Blade. This should be a little bit more familiar than the little ones because, well, this is a proper sized model, basically. You just want to take this a section at a time. Be nice and gentle with your brush. Watch out for any dark pools. And just glide across the surface of the model. To get a nice smooth finish. And then you lose your turret. And everyone laughs. So with that Space Wolves Grey applied all over, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Asaman Blue. I'm going to use this to add in a kind of unit marking in some ways. So we're going to apply this just like this over the top of the front panel. Like that. On both sides, of course. Like so. I'm going to do the same thing across all of our tanks. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thin down Balthazar gold. I'm going to use this to pick out now all of the trim across all of our tanks. I'm just picking out those little rivety bits just there.
with all of that Balthazar gold applied to all of the trim, what we're now going to do is take some Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of any loose cables that you want to apply this over. We're going to apply this over the tips of any Laz cannons. Like that. And over the top of the casings of your heavy bolters. If you have them, of course. And so with that Black Legion all applied, we're now going to take some thinned down lead belcher. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the remaining details. So with that now done, as you can see, all of our base coats are now on, on the tank. Here's our Bane Blade. Here's our Malkador. Looking cool. And here is one of our Lehman Russ. Looking excellent. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna finish them off. And we're gonna take some Drakenhof Nightshade once again. I'm going to use this to shade the entire thing. So with their bases all complete, our possibly Saturnine Rams <laughs> are auxilia and now all finished. I really quite enjoyed doing the tanks. I thought they were really simple and fun and they just look absolutely fantastic. Bane Blades are an absolute favourite of mine. I just love them. And the Lehman Russ is such a classic. And the Malkador too. And well, the infantry are pretty cool. I always wanted a solar auxilia army, but you know, I just never had the time. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it 
and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.